Hey Internet, I'm Color Farty, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. So, we beat Monstro in the last episode, so now we have to go back to Traverse Town. I think my magic is as good as Donald's now. No way! Not in a million years! Why don't you go see Merlin? Work more on your magic. There's a tournament being held at the Coliseum. I hear there's a great reward for the winner. Yeah, we're, uh, once again, we're not doing the Coliseum tournament right away. We're going to wait at least one world before doing that. It's hard enough on normal mode. On expert mode, phew, that, it's going to be tough. <laughs> and the brick has arrived at Traverse Town. So we'll go to the Magician's Study in a bit. But first off, what we want to do is buy some new stuff. Uh, actually, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Huey, Dewey, and Louie's item shop. This is where we want to go. And I still think Sora's dodge roll is like the dorkiest looking thing ever. Welcome! Want to buy something? Yeah, you know it. Alright, we are going to buy the shooting star for Donald. Oh, whoa, Mage's Staff? Oh, shoot, I should have bought that. That's going to be much better. Alright, so Donald's got a Morning, so Mage Staff, Morning Star gives him plus one strength. Shooting Star gives him an additional plus two strength, and the Mage's Staff gives him plus one strength, but it also raises his MP by one. Since Donald's Magic Paste, we're giving him the extra MP. <laughs> and darn it, now I can't even buy one gun for my gummy ship. This is terrible. Well, now that we've got high jump, we can uh, explore some new parts of Traverse Town, like uh, the rooftops. And this will give us access to more postcards. Also, there's a house here now. It's Geppetto's house. Pinocchio? Hey, it's Sora! Well, hello, Sora! How did you get here? A man named Leon helped us. He even got us this house to live in. I don't know how I'll ever repay his kindness. Say, I hear you three are fighting the Heartless. I thought you might be able to, I find, I thought I might be able to help you, so I made this. And we obtained Geppetto. Okay, I know what you're thinking. We do not get Geppetto in our party. For us? But of course, Pinocchio and I can't thank you enough. We'll do anything we can to help you. That's not like when we get Geppetto as a summon or in our party. It, that's a blueprint for a gummy ship called Geppetto. But more importantly, if we open this chest, we get the Wishing Star, which is a new Keyblade. Wishing Star, it has short reach, but it always finishes up a combo attack with a powerful critical blow. So it, you see, it actually lowers our strength and our range slightly. But the fact that you always do a critical blow... Uh, for the combo finisher, it actually is more powerful than Free Wishes, so I'm going to equip that. And I can't tell if it looks awesome or terrible. I'm studying real hard so I can become a real boy! I'm not fibbing! See? My nose is just the same! Alright. Well, thanks for the free stuff, Geppetto, but we really need to go. Plus, for the next world we're in... Uh, the Wishing Star will definitely come in handy. Oh, I just realized we need to visit the item workshop as well. But first... Postcard. This one's not from Lemming Land, unfortunately. I didn't realize we could do that. Learning more about the game all the time. But Dalmatian's house. We need another reward. <laughs> oh. 
I love how we alternate between like, oh, Artie beat like a whole world in one video, to like, Artie just wastes time in Traverse Town doing extra stuff. <laughs> and we get a gift from Pongo and Perdita. A Miffle Shard, that's it? That's a terrible reward. I wanted like a gummy piece. Oh, well, thanks anyways. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore the fat guys for now. Oh, whoa! There's a chest up there. Alright, I guess we can't ignore the fat guys. I don't know why my attacks worked on him, because I hit him in the stomach, which is supposed to just rebound all attacks. Hey, dude! Yeah, look how much damage my finishing blows deal with this one. It's ins it is ridiculous. Whoa, a Protectora chain. Or a Protera chain. Also... Abilities, I'm not going to equip Counterattack. I'm going to equip Treasure Magnet. This will help me collect objects like this a lot easier. Alright. I want the chest. Give it to me. Seriously, I can, like, one combo like any enemy now. Or at least the Trapper's Down ones. Nope. Whoosh. Yes! Postcard? Mega Potion. Alright. I'm going to the hotel. Why are there heartless in a hotel? Frost shard, yeah. Why can't I hit Harless in here? Going into the red room, wherever it is. There it is. I think this leads to the third district, if I'm not mistaken. Alleyway, no. Rats. Oh well. At least there's a shortcut to Merlin's house for here. Secret waterway! Okay. Also, I've done some research. The thing, the reason the Hundred Acre Wood might not be working is because of a glitch. I might not be able to do the Hundred Acre Wood in this playthrough. I have no idea why, though. Oh, another summon gem? Yeah, that was the uh, water gem we got in Monstro. Let's help this little one. Off we go. Bippity boppity boo. And we get the summon spell Dumbo. If you find any more of these stones, bring them to me. Yeah, Dumbo's not a great summon, admittedly, but it's worth getting. You're making excellent progress. Here's something for your effort. And we get Spellbinder, another Keyblade. Keep it up. And the reason we got that is because we learned the level 1 magic spell for all the different magic spells. So, if we want to take a look at the Spellbinder, it is weaker than the free, uh, even the Wishing Star, but it boosts your max MP by 2, which is incredible, so it will make your magic a lot more powerful. So if you're mostly magic-based, this is like a dream come true, If but if you're like me, I prefer physical attacks for the most part, so... I will equip that in the future. Alright, let's see if we can get the 100 Acre Wood to work. I've, I've looked it up, like, why it's not working, and like I've only had like one or two other people have been like, yeah, it doesn't work for me either. I'm wondering if there's, like, something I missed in the Eeyore's house area that, like, I should have triggered, but I didn't. Like, is Pooh still here? Can I talk to Pooh? I don't know. I'll go back to Pooh's house, maybe, like, ring his doorbell.
Because I really do want to show off the Hundred Acre Wood, but I don't know how. I do not understand why the Torn Pages are not repairing the book. Oh, we can go in Pooh's house? Oh, yes! Oh, mother! There's no more honey left. If only the honey tree would visit. Oh, then I could eat my fill. Okay. Never mind, Hundred Acre Wood works. <laughs> I was just dumb and never entered Pooh's house. <laughs> Thank goodness. I figured the developers wouldn't leave a giant glitch like that in. <laughs> Let me guess, you'd like to know what happens next. Unfortunately, some of the pages are missing, so I can't tell you yet. The pages are scattered over many worlds. Would you find them for us? I say, this sounds like a grand idea. Yeah! Okay, so our torn page worked, and now this appeared. A tall, curious tree buzzing with bees. Take a look. Sure. Yay! 100 Acre Woodworks! Go, just go into Pooh's house. That's the secret. Unfortunately, the first minigame is kind of terrible. Actually, like, all, there's only one 100 Acre Wood minigame in this that is, like, Whoa. any good at all. Is anyone there? Pickwood is so small. What am I to do? I'm all alone. Pooh? Pooh? Where are you? It's me, Piglet. Poor Piglet? He shouldn't have to be all alone. Oh, man. <gasps> I definitely sympathize with Piglet. Being a shy guy myself. Wow. Alright, so instead of spooking Piglet, we're gonna uh, jump in the pond! Yeah! Ah, that is relaxing. I think there's some treasure chests around. Hello! <laughs> I'm sorry. Piglet's so small. Don't be scared. You're looking for Pooh, right? You know Pooh. Who doesn't? Uh, oh, you see, I, I have something for him. I, I have to take it to Pooh right away. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh, hum -de -de -dum. Pooh. <sighs> Even if I don't like the mini games, I do love Hundred Acre Wood. I believe I smell a delicious something. A something like honey. Poo. And I think I found my thumbnail. Hello, Piglet. How have you been? Oh, I'm so glad to see you. I thought you'd gone away. I brought what you asked for. <laughs> Thank it's a balloon. Piglet. Now I can finally have some honey. Really? <laughs> but, 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 but how? I shall hold on to the balloon and fly like a bee up the honey tree, see? What if you take their honey? Won't the bees be angry? Hmm. Oh. Pooh has a horrible idea. Alright, so what I'm going to do, actually, is temporarily equip a Keyblade with long range, which is the Jungle King, because this minigame, having a Keyblade with longer range does actually help. If you could only chase away those bees, I'm quite certain I should get a more small morsel of honey. Would you help me get some honey? Should I help Pooh get some honey? Yeah, sure. <sighs> I do not like this video game. Woohoo! It's Owl with the obligatory tutorial. Oh, hello there, Owl. Good day, Pooh. What are you doing? Using a balloon to get some honey? Splendid idea. Allow me to offer a few pointers.
Ahem! Now Pooh can get honey by floating up this tree with his balloon. The honey is inside the tree hollows, not the beehives you see here. That makes no sense whatsoever. There's quite a lot of honey in these holes. If Pooh gets too close, the bees will come out to protect their honey. If they get to Pooh, they'll pop his balloon, lock onto the bees, and swat them away. The more Pooh has at each ho the more time Pooh has at each hollow, the more honey he can eat. There's more honey higher up too. If jumping from branch to branch proves difficult, try the rush command. Brush can help you catch up to Pooh quickly, but it isn't fully reliable. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Great music for this part, though. Nice Fane is walking onto the bees and swatting at them. Tends to make you go to the next tree branch. Because jumping from tree branch to tree branch is nearly impossible. Oh no. Oh no, no, no! I need to rush! That was a close one. Let's see how much honey we can eat. Uh oh, that's not good. Rush, 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 rush! Why wasn't the rush command appearing? Oh, bother. Luckily, Pooh has an unlimited supply of balloons. That, or just a helium tank. <laughs> So this minigame is like sound in theory, but like, because jumping from branch to branch is so difficult, it's not great. And this is why I wanted the Keyblade to fall in range. All Keyblades just get rid of the bees in one hit, so it's really just down to how much range your Keyblade has. Also, I can't tell if you have to just run out the clock, or if there's a certain amount of honey that you need to get. Alright, gotta wait for the bees to come up here. And you can swap them away. <laughs> Help yourself, Pooh. <laughs> Have as much as you like. <laughs> There's a ton of honey up there, you know. Oh my. Mm. A small smack rule, I think. Whoa! Pooh's just like eating all the honey in the woods. Pooh, you do realize you need to leave some honey for the bees, otherwise they'll die and not be able to make more honey. Alright, this game isn't as bad as I remember. Pooh is just going to pig out. And I say we should encourage that. <laughs> Look at how much honey is in there! <laughs> He's just like, oh, oh, this is so delicious. Mm, why don't I come to this honey tree every day? <laughs> 175 honey. He could have eaten a lot more if I hadn't screwed up at the beginning. It is rather funny what I will do for honey. <laughs> Yum, hum, dum dee dum, hum dee doo dum. I love honey so much. The torn page turned into a new item. We get nature spark. <gasps> oh, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> You're probably wondering what that is. That's another summon gem. And it becomes, without a doubt, the most broken summon in the entire game. Oh, hang on. We don't want Jungle King anymore, we want Wishing Star. Let's examine the carriage. Oh, 
Oh, another summon gem. Let's help this little one. Here we go. Bippity boppity boo. We learned the summon spell Bambi. <laughs> if you find any more of these stones, bring them to me. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Bambi, really? Bambi is without a doubt the greatest summon in the entire game. Like, it is outrageous how good Bambi is. Like, he, tur he turns you basically into a killing machine. And that's all I'm going to say right now. <laughs> oh no, I just realized I don't think we can summon him in the next world. Next world is weird. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go to the first district. We need to mail our postcards, and then we can go off to... <sighs> See, the thing is, we only have about ten more minutes... Like, for the video, maybe a little more. I don't think that's enough time to start the new world. The new world has very few save points. Alright, mail card, sent the third postcard, we get a mega potion. Sent fourth postcard, we get a mega ether. That's it? There's gotta be more. Oh, and we have to visit the item workshop. So I actually might try out the new Olympus Coliseum Cup. Item workshop. Hey, Koopo. Let's synthesize. I don't have any bright shards, really. I can't make the dark rain either, because we need bright shards. Can't make the mega potion. AP up! Not enough ingredients. Oh, no, I need another spirit gem. Okay, I can make this, though. Angel bangle. That sounds good. Magic armlet. Goblin marine. That'll come in handy. All right. Let's see what those do. That's bad. Okay. Not as good as the White Fane. How about Ray of Light? Energy Bangle gives me more defense, but lowers my MP. Angel Bangle gives me more defense and HP, but also lowers my MP. Uh, decisions, decisions. Energy Bangle could be really nice. But I do like having an additional MP. So... Hey, Donald. Let's do any of these boost MP. Yes, the... Oh, yes! That is worth it for Donald, actually. Alright, I think that'll do it. We got too many rings. Actually, you know what? I there's no way I'm going to be able to beat the Olympus Coliseum, so or not the the cup at least. So I will go to the new world. And it's it is the worst world in the game. I'm just gonna be honest. It is just a pretty bad world. Oh, also, we're going to the Gummy Garage. We got some new parts. That's the Geppetto. Alright, so nothing exciting happened for modifying the Gummy Ship. I just gave it more defense. Alright, so we got to warp to Monstro now. And the problem with Monstro is that when you warp to him, it doesn't give you the option to enter the world. It just forces you to enter the world. So that's kind of annoying. Actually, okay, this will be a slightly shorter than average video, I think. Monstro's gone! Let's go before he comes back! Oh, never mind! Sweet! Ow. Yeah. My gummy ship is a brick. But it is a good brick. It's fun. Beneath a verb reference. Oh, well, that was a very short gummy flight. <laughs> yeah. Here we are. Atlantica. Okay, guys, prepare for landing! 
Land where? In the sea? We'll drown. Not with my magic, we won't. Just leave it to me. My Donald Duck voice is terrible. Actually, like, all my voices are terrible, so... Eh, I guess I shouldn't be so surprised. This is the worst world in the game. Just heads up. By the end of the world, you will hate it under the sea. Yep, we're mermaids, Sora. And we can't use summons underwater, so we can't use Bambi! Sebastian? Ariel, wait! Slow down! Don't leave me behind! <laughs> I don't think that's the original Sebastian. <laughs> oh, relax, Sebastian. They don't look like one of them. Bleah. Right, Flounder? I don't know. There's something weird about them. Uh, Flounder, you're the one whose expression never changes from really creepy smile. Mm, they do seem... a little different. Where are you from? Uh, we're from kind of far away. And we're not really used to these waters. Uh, <laughs> uh. No, I see. In that case, Sebastian can show you how we swim around here. Ariel! King Triton will not like this! Oh, don't worry. Well, King Triton's got some problems. Easy for you to say. Okay, it's time to learn how to swim properly. Use the left analog stick to swim around. Press circle to rise and square to dive. Release them to stop rising or diving. Practice swimming with Lounder. Try to tag him. Alright, begin. These controls are terrible! Who, who made these? Who fought? Yes, this is a good idea. Also, Under the Sea plays, like, non-stop in this world. And if you think it's just hard swimming around, you have to fight Heartless underwater! Do you know how annoying that is? <laughs> I've played the game before, do I really have to play Flounder Tag? Or in this case, Flounder Hide and Seek. Ugh. Also, Flounder. His expression is so off putting. Seriously. He never stops smiling creepily. Thank you for ending that. Sebastian! Yep, even the battle music is under the sea. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Atlantica. Nice thing, though, is in Atlantica, if you get the Wishing Star equipped, then all of your combos will end in a critical blow, not just your ground ones. Oh, Donald, we're in second chance? Yes! Alright, well, Donald's definitely equipping. Oh, I have to unequip Yeah, that's fine. Second chance is more important. Oh yeah, MP gift. He can give a MP to for, he can give up one MP to give free MP to a friend. So that's pretty good. Uh, but lucky strike is better. So sorry, goof. You're on your own. All right. <sighs> you open up the clam shell. There's a save point in here. Huh? I can't believe it. Yep. This could be a bad world. I'll try to get through it as fast as I can. Those creatures chased us here. Oh no, the monsters might be headed for the palace too. We better head back right away. But well, what if we run into more on our way back? 
I'm sorry, but we need your help. Please come to the palace with us. Yeah, King Trident sounds nice. The trident markers on the walls point the way there. That's nice. We won't get lost as long as we follow them. This world is enormous, so it's a good thing that they did that. Okay, and now we get Ariel in our party. Ariel stinks. I'm sorry, but she just does. All right, and we're going to leave the episode off there. Thanks for watching. I'm Color Florida. If you tune in next time, we will... Not beat in way together. There's no way we're gonna beat in way together in a half hour. It'll take two videos, but we'll always get farther in. Anyways, have a great day and God bless.